Hey there, YouTubers and collectors. This is Salvador Los Angeles with my review of the Jaeger Gypsy Danger 18-inch figure from the motion picture Pacific Rim made by NECA. Features LED lights. I'm so excited about this figure. I jumped on it as soon as I found out that it was available. Pacific Rim on the top there. Ages 14 plus. As soon as I found out this figure was available, I jumped on it quickly. This is a beautiful figure. I got to tell you, I was excited about the one quarter scale Iron Man figure by NECA, but this thing is beautiful. And collectible box. Always try to save the box if you can. If you're the kind of person like me who takes figures out of their boxes, try to save the boxes if you can. Now, as awesome as this picture is, this picture does not do the figure justice. The figure looks better than this picture. Warner Brothers Pictures and Legendary Pictures, Pacific Rim, Super Massive Heroes. Also available in 7-inch format, Gypsy Danger, Knife Head, Crimson Typhoon, Leatherback, Striker, Eureka. Legendary, Warner Brothers, NECA, Real Toys. There are no credits on this box, and this is, I think, the kind of box that could warrant credits from NECA, from their creators. Gypsy Danger, Mark III on this side. I mean, this is definitely one opportunity for Randy Falk and the rest of the gang over at NECA to advertise themselves in the box. But they didn't do it this time. This is Salvador Los Angeles with my video review of Jaeger Gypsy Danger 18-inch figure from the motion picture Pacific Rim made by NECA. And I thank you for watching. Normally by this point, I would just get right to the figure, but I think it's worth noting the inside of the box. Lots of wonderful detail here. Command Center, Jaeger Bay, Launch Bay, Command Center. And then we start to go up, and there is the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. And then there are a bunch of buildings. I think that's the Pacific Ocean. Well, it's called Pacific Rim. Folks, I must confess, I suffer from a condition, a non-treatable condition called Synanesia, where I forget about movies after I see them. But interesting detail on the inside of the box I think that is worth noting. 18 inch Gypsy Danger comes with not one but two of these blades that are placed into his wrist. These knife blade thingies. Awesome, awesome job. Really, I mean this looks like real metal. Of course it's not. But this pointy, you can hurt yourself. You can poke your eye out. Very interesting, flexible, plastic, but looks like real metal. Again, you get two. And we'll be placing those into their designated slots in a moment. Gypsy Danger stands exactly 18 inches tall. Gypsy Danger weighs 6.40 ounces with his knives. This figure is massive and it's beautiful, and that is not just the vodka talking. There was the noticeable smell of oil as I opened up the package. Now, normally that would repel me, but it seems so fitting with this figure. If you remember, they're always working on these Jaegers. They were always welding, putting them together, fixing them. So it was just, it's so apropos. This thing literally smelled like oil when I opened up the packaging. It's almost an homage to so many different figures. I would say it's an homage to Giant Robo, the old Japanese movie series. It's an homage to Shogun Warriors, if you guys remember that. It's just beautiful. I would have to tell you the truth, and, and it actually literally pains me to say this. This outdoes NECA's Iron Man figure, and I love that quarter scale Iron Man figure, but this figure blows it out of the water. This figure is beautiful. This video will not do this figure justice. Let's look at that, number 34. I may zoom in also so we can get a real detailed view of this figure. There is a button here which we will push to activate his LED lights. 
We'll get into that in a second. I would have to probably say that this is NECA's greatest 18-inch figure, and believe me, I have a few of them. I would tell you that this now surpasses NECA's Iron Man one-quarter scale. Of course, this figure here would not be listed as quarter scale because the giant size of the Jaegers themselves. But this is 18-inch, so would be listed as quarter scale if this were a figure like Iron Man. Number 34, I, I th th there's really nothing for me to say. I mean, you can see it all. This figure is beautiful. This is NECA's greatest work in an 18-inch scale. And we'll go over his articulation in a moment. But look at that detail. All these little sprockets, all these rods, all these pistons looking absolutely beautiful. If you look real close, some sort of Betty Page type image there. I'm not certain if that's movie accurate, but it looks great. In the seven inch scale, they released a clean version and they released a battle damage version. And in this instance, it looks like they split the difference. So he's sort of battle damaged, halfway battle damaged. And you can see things like these scratches here, sort of bullet holes or poke holes. I don't know how those were ascertained. On this shoulder, some sort of hole, bullet hole, or maybe poked by a kaiju. Let's get a close-up of his hands. There's no articulation in his hands, but they are an awesome fist. Ready to kick ass. Unlike the NECA quarter scale Iron Man, which I absolutely love, this figure can stand on his own without any additional assistance. I'm doing these close-ups so you can see the awesome detail, the fine-tuning that NECA took for this figure. NECA did not forsake detail on this figure at all. The detail is beautiful. They spared no expense on fitting every little sprocket Every little spring looks great. They did a beautiful job on this figure. On this video, at this very moment, I now profess to say NECA is my favorite figure maker. I love Mezco. NECA has now won not only my wallet, but my heart. Just getting real tight here. I want you to see all of the details that this figure has to offer. Every little minute detail. Attention to detail. This figure is awesome. His head moves back and forth. And a little bit of up and down. Little mister, what are you doing? <laughs> back and forth, up and down a little bit, a little bit of up and down, mainly back and forth. He does have a lot of movement in his shoulder. You can move his shoulders around all the way, all the way around. And he moves out and in. Here are those ratchets. Both sides have the same articulation. And he does have waist articulation here. Ab crunch, sort of. 
little bit of a ball joint. Lots of movement there at the ab crunch. And he has hips if you go out and you go back and forth all the way back like that. This is actually a small joint, so this must be a really strong joint. It's small, but it's strong. It's actually double jointed. He's got a joint in there and also a joint right here. So we can go back and forth there and then in and out there. And he has knee joint. And as far as ankle, he moves around a lot there and goes up and down a little bit of a swivel there and back and forth on this sort of extra piece Achilles piece, if you will. There it is. They have corrected the imperfections on this figure. They have corrected the problems. And now look how this figure stands. You know, problems with that NECA Iron Man. It couldn't stand on its own. You needed a stand. Look at this. He stands on his own. No problems. They have corrected. It's almost like NECA gives a shit about its followers. These knives attach quite nicely into his forearm. There is a gap there you can place these knives in. And here they are. Here is 18 inch Gypsy Danger with his knife. Knives attachment. Knife attachment. Knives attachment. He will kick your ass and by yours i mean mine so the question becomes how will you display him will you display him with his knives will you display him without his knives if you have him with his arms down he can fit quite nicely with his knives little mister <laughs> i cannot believe how much i love this figure really i really do this figure is neca at its finest little mister Ugh. These knife attachments are about, hey, these knife attachments are about eight and a quarter inches long. On the back of Gypsy Danger, we have a little plastic thing that we take out. Like so, as you may be familiar with. And then we have a button. We're going to press that button right there. Right there, and we're going to see him light up. There he is lit up. Press that button on the back. And you can turn it off, press it again, and it turns it on. Beautiful orange color. Again, the video camera does not do it justice. Beautiful orange color there in the chest. This has been Salvador Los Angeles with my review of the 18-inch Jaeger Gypsy Danger figure from the movie Pacific Rim. Brought to you by NECA. It is a beautiful figure. Do not miss out on this one. And I thank you for watching. These knife attachments are about... Hey! <laughs>